The grace and love of our Lord and Savior be with us always. Amen. The word of God we want to consider today is again our epistle reading for this past Sunday. We want to look over the entire reading for the 16th Sunday after Pentecost from Hebrews chapter 13 verses 1 to 8. Keep on loving each other as brothers. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by doing so, some people have entertained angels without knowing it. Remember those in prison as if you were their fellow prisoners, and those who are mistreated as if you yourselves were suffering. Marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed kept pure. For God will judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral. Keep your lives free from the love of money, and be content with what you have, because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. My dear friends in Christ, the unidentified author of this letter to Hebrew Christians, persecuted Hebrew Christians, wanted them and us for that matter to keep clinging to the gospel and trusting in Jesus as our Savior, our sole way to eternal salvation, and remember that our deeds don't earn us heaven. But he also wanted them and us to live in faith, to strive to follow God's will, to say thank you to God for doing everything for us for our eternal salvation. That's why he says here, Keep on loving each other as brothers, or a more literal translation of that would be, as we've already noted, let brotherly love continue. As brothers and sisters in Christ, we'll want to show Christ's love, his unselfish love to one another. Love one another. And throughout our reading, he's describing that Love one another. Our reading says, Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing some people have entertained angels without knowing it. Well, why does he talk about strangers here? Well, think about this. If we show love to people we know that are close to us, well, we can show them love and think, well, I'm going to get love back by them. But love to strangers, that's something that we just simply show. It's more like Christ's love where we're just loving without expecting something in return. Well, our reading says, remember those in prison as if you were their fellow prisoners and those who are mistreated as if you yourselves were suffering. Here, thinking about those in prison again, if you love them, they can't love you back so easily, right? They can't do that. Here he's thinking also about when he's talking about those in prison, perhaps persecuted Christians who were in jail for talking about the Savior, for sharing the Savior. And as he says, show love to them, remember that that always could be you and me. The fact of the matter is, is that we live in this crazy world and who knows what our testifying, our living our faith is going to mean for us in the future. Could we be imprisoned for that? We'll, we'll want to show those who are in prison, especially those who are in prison for sharing the gospel with others, our Christian love. Our reading says, Marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed kept pure. For God will judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral. In our closest relationships, show love for one another. And you know, the fact of the matter is, is that when people around us look at our lives and see how we deal with those who are close to us, whether that's a spouse or child or whatever, 
if we're showing them Christian love, that's going to say something to them and witness for Christ to the people around us. Well, our reading says, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. You know, instead of selfishly loving me, myself, and I, he's saying, love one another and show your trust in God's promise, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. You know, he's going to take care of us, so why should we selfishly think about our money and our possessions when we could show love for one another? He continues here, so we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Why should I selfishly be hoarding things to try to make sure I'm taking care of when instead I can be showing love to one another. Our reading says, Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. He's saying there, love those people who have shared especially God's grace and love with you because when people would share with you God's grace and love, they're showing you the greatest example of love that there could possibly be. They're showing love for your eternal soul, for your life after this life. That's showing the greatest love that there is. And the motivation for doing that is the closing verse. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. He's always going to love us. He's never going to forsake us. He'll never let us down. In his care for us, it means that we don't have to selfishly look out for ourselves because he's caring for us. And because of his amazing love for us, doesn't that make us want to love one another with the same love that he has shown us. Amen. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you for the love you have shown us in giving us Jesus who lived, died, and rose from the dead for us and for giving us the Holy Spirit so we believe in Jesus for our salvation. Help us in thankfulness for that love to always be ready to keep on loving one another with the love you've given to us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen.